Welcome to Love Carbs Journey. All the links for the collaboration participants will be listed below. Hey there, welcome back to my channel. Today's Friday, so that means we have another collab video with our YouTube small channel weight loss support loop. Please make sure you take time to watch all of the videos that are part of this collab. Please like, subscribe, and turn on the bell notifications for the people participating. Today's video is about mindfulness. So when I think of mindfulness, I think of HALT, H-A-L-T. Before you eat, you want to HALT. You want to ask yourself, am I hungry? H, H is hungry. If you're hungry, then go ahead and eat. If you're not hungry, then you want to find out what else is going on. A, am I angry? Are you trying to use food as a way to solve an emotional problem? L, am I lonely? Are you trying to use food to make yourself feel less lonely? And T, am I tired? Would a nap be a better choice than eating? And when you're lonely, would calling someone or finding a group to be involved with be a better way to handle your emotional eating. Mindfulness is very important when you're trying to overcome any kind of addiction, but mainly one that has to do with food. So if you notice that you eat for reasons that are not hunger, then you may have an addiction. And mindfulness is very important for that type of a problem. Now you may not have an addiction, but you may. I don't know if enough people ask themselves, is it possible that my problems with food are because I'm addicted? Am I getting something from the food? Is it giving me an increase in endorphins? Am I using food as a way to feel better? Am I using food as a reward? All of these could fall under the title of mindfulness. Whenever you ask yourself a question, you are going deeper inside to seek an answer because most of the time we are not mindful enough when it comes to food. If we were, we would not have gotten ourselves into the predicament that we have with food. So. I am hoping that you will use the acronym HALT going forward. So HALT, hungry, angry, lonely, tired. So the last tip that I have for you regarding mindfulness and your diet is there are more things that go into weight loss than just what you put in your mouth. So make sure that you're getting enough sleep because when you sleep, your body rests, it repairs itself. And if you're not getting enough sleep, weight loss is gonna be very hard for you. So things you can do that are mindful in regards to sleep are turn off any electronic devices a couple hours before you go to bed, have a routine for when you go to bed. And if you have trouble falling asleep, you might consider taking a magnesium supplement. Always check with your doctor first. But a good number of Americans do have issues with not having enough magnesium. And magnesium will calm your body down. It will help you feel less stress. And it will help you more than likely get a better sleep. So those are my thoughts on mindfulness. I want to thank you for watching this video. Again, this is a collaboration video with some other fine YouTubers, other fine content creators in our YouTube small weight loss support loop. So check out their videos. If you want to see more content, <laughs> okay, let's try that again. If you want to see more content like this collaboration video or grocery hauls, or weekly weigh-in Wednesday videos, please subscribe to my channel.
Please also like and turn on the bell notifications. Thank you for watching this video. I want you all to remain safe. I want you to be blessed and I want you to have a great day. Bye all.